everybody. The book that I've chosen for this book talk is called Hidden Figures, and it's a true story of four black women and the space race. Um, this is by Margaret Lee Shetterly, and it is illustrated by Laura Freeman. Um, Scholastic produces and push, pushes this out, so you could probably buy this, teachers, in your Scholastic catalog or look online through your Scholastic um, website to obtain this book. Now, when I'm looking for new stories to read, particularly to my daughter at bedtime, I always like new stories. And I like things that teach us something, okay? Every time it has to be a lesson. I'm always yearning for ways to be um, more educated and educate my kids. And also, if in when I would be in the teaching position, um, nonfiction literature that still tells a story is very valuable, especially at any age that they're trying to learn something um, from literature. So this book was really impactful because it talks about women um, especially in times where women did not have impactful roles. It talks about the four women um, that overcame um, some racism still existing in the 1940s and how they persevered through those challenges. And they broke the stereotypes of women. They began to work um, through and for the aeronautics in 1953, this says, and applying for jobs so that they could assist with um, airspace in World War II. So assuming all sorts of non-traditional roles, it shows pers perseverance and resilience of women. It also talks about um, women being good at math, which is something I think that we need to uh, remind not only just girls, but everybody that people can be successful and use math um, as a career choice. Um, and then it goes into um, what was happening in 1960s with John F. Kennedy and the man on the moon um, and how these four women played a role in this. Now, I did not know this prior to this book. Um, I learned a lot about Dorothy, Mary, Catherine, and Christine's roles as computer engineers um, during this time and NASA's mission to the moon. Um, and then, of course, it gives a timeline. There's so much you can do with this literature. Um, you can, you know, do side projects. You can um, do a little bit of research. You can do autobiographies on each of these women. You can talk about NASA. You can talk about that movement. You can talk conspiracy about Neil Armstrong being on the moon and um, write persuasive papers. Um, so with any age group, I would say that this is primarily probably an upper elementary, but my daughter's in second grade and she enjoyed it. Um, and then it has little biographies of each of the women. So... Very influential, very empowering hidden figures. Um, you can find that on Scholastic, like I said. Really enjoyed this. It wasn't a bedtime bore, I'll say that. It definitely um, intrigued both of us, and I'm happy that I shared this message with my daughter. And I also learned something new, too.